Welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Dr. Travis Gratton with University Veterinary Care Center is joining us live now. Good morning, Dr. Gratton. Good morning. We're talking lumps and bumps, and this is a really good topic for me because I've noticed my dog, as she's getting older, is getting a little bumpier. Is that normal? Yeah, certainly we see a lot more of them pop up in um, older pets, uh, no doubt about it. Um, some of them certainly are benign, some of them not so benign, a uh, bigger concern. So. Well, sure. Well, how do we know when we need to seek help with them? Oh, certainly um, the big thing is if something pops up suddenly and seems to be growing rapidly or even something that's been there for a while but seemed fairly small and insignificant but suddenly is growing, uh, anything that has any signs of inflammation, redness, heat, pain, um, you know, those certainly should uh, seek some medical attention on. Um, Otherwise, you know, anything that's open and oozing or draining or any discharge whatsoever, those would kind of fall into that category as well. Well, what causes some of the more harmless bumps that pets get just as they're aging? Yeah, certainly we see a lot of just kind of cysts where um, the, the follicles in the skin become irregular. Instead of forming oil and waxes and hair shafts and whatnot, they form pockets of things that gets trapped within the skin. Um, fatty tumors are certainly benign. Um, certainly little adenomas, which are kind of wart-like growths, although they're not viral, um, are very, very common, and often we don't care so much about some of those. We'll talk about the process when we take our, our pet to the vet to get some of those lumps and bumps examined. What can we expect with that? Yeah, some of them certainly come off of, um, or based on location, breed, um, appearance, some things can be relatively straightforwardly diagnosed. We can kind of go, okay, this is what it is, and it is or isn't a concern. Um, some things in certain locations we want to take a little more aggressive approach to because as things start to grow and get bigger, they can be really difficult to remove in, in some of those areas. Um, otherwise, we tend to then kind of do various forms of biopsies to try to get an idea. Um, cytologies, whether it's off of just surface cells from the lump or whether it's um, a, a needle biopsy to look under the microscope at that collection of loose cells and say is it inflammation, is it infection, is it some sort of neoplastic or cancerous uh, growth and sometimes you can distinguish benign versus cancerous as well. And then certainly some tumors that look nasty need either a biopsy if they can't be removed completely or ideally complete removal and those are generally surgery. Um, some of them certainly can be done with um, sedation sometimes required but often under just a local anesthetic where we numb the area and then another reason if they're small we can <laughs> sometimes take them off a little easier than if they've gotten really big. Well, sure. So it sounds like the key here is just if you're not sure, get it checked out by your vet. Yeah, there are some potential nasty things there. There's a lot that aren't, but um, we'd rather catch some of the, the ugly ones early and get rid of them when we have a chance to. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry. Dr. Bratton, Absolutely. thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you. if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, head over to universityvetcare.com.